Hey, congratulations on the new deal. Uh, I guess just what led you to agreeing to this before, I mean, before you might, you know, before you could enter free agency, what, what, uh, gave you the indication that the Rangers were the right spot for you? Um, thank you. Um, it's, uh, it was a pretty easy decision. I think, you know, the Rangers with such a story, such a storied franchise, um, the history here, the, the city, um, as soon as, you know, they showed a little bit of interest, I, you know, I think that's, that's all I needed. And I was, you know, very excited at the possibility of, of joining, uh, this team, um, you know, right from the beginning. So I'm glad, it, I'm glad everything worked out. I couldn't be happier to, to be a Ranger and, you know, to, to be able to sign for you know six years, I can be more excited, and um, you know I can't wait to get to get the season started, and um, you know to start uh, a new chapter of my career. Next question comes from Vince Mercagliano with USA Today Network. Vince, go ahead. Hey, Barkley, congratulations, and uh, welcome to New York. I, I want to start by asking about the just the emotions of the last you know couple of weeks for you winning another cup with Tampa Bay, but I'm wondering. You know, knowing that you had unrestricted free agency coming up, did you have a sense that, that you would be moving on after that? And then, you know, finding out that the Rangers were after you and then coming to the deal with them, like, like how, how has this whole thing played out in your mind from an emotional standpoint in the last few weeks? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a roller coaster. I think, you know, as much as you don't, uh, you don't want to think about the, the future when, you know, obviously you're in the, the middle of, the Stanley Cup playoffs, I think, you know, I realized, you know, other guys on the team realized that there there's a good chance that, you know, I wouldn't be back in Tampa and, you know, I would be moving on to uh to a different team in different cities. So I think, you know, throughout the process I, I didn't I didn't know where that was that was gonna be. Um but uh, like I said early on when, when the Rangers um showed interest I was I was pretty excited and you know, to to cap off the the last few weeks I've had with uh, with the chance to sign here and start, uh, like I said, start a new chapter here. It's kind of it's good. it's been a crazy few weeks in, but I couldn't be happier and I couldn't be more excited. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson with Newsday. Colin, go ahead. Barkley, welcome. Uh, wanted to ask a little bit about your game and what you believe you can and will bring to the Rangers it's you know it's been written um and talked about up here that you know they need a little bit more grit and hard to play against uh and, and I'm wondering how you think you can help them in that regard or any other regard for that matter yeah obviously you know looking uh you know watching this team play and looking at the roster it's very skilled um very you know, deep and you know, lots of talent. Um, I think I can just add, you know, I think there's a lot of versatility in my game. I can, you know, I, I'm more of a, you know, in your face, uh, hard to play against guy who can kill penalties, play a physical role, you know, stick up for, for my teammates whenever, whenever need be. So, you know, I, whoever, whoever Gerard, uh, Gerard wants to, wants to use me, how he wants to use me, I'm, I'm I'm in for that and uh yeah I think I just I can play up and down the lineup wherever wherever need be and you know take some face offs play center or the wing or you know wherever it may be on the ice I think over the years I I've played multiple positions and you know I'm comfortable in in playing wherever wherever the team needs me. Next question comes from Tom Marion with Sports Final Radio. Tom go ahead. Or what's it like to win a Stanley Cup and then all of a sudden, ten days later, be traded by that team? Um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been an experience. It's you know, I think in, in a normal circumstance, um, it might be it might be more strange than than how it actually went down. Um, you know, we like I said, I think we knew. We knew I wouldn't be back in Tampa. There was just, given the the cap circumstances, there just wasn't that wasn't a possibility. So, um, whether whether a trade happened or I went to free agency, I was 
Um, just you know, I wanted to get a, a deal done with the Rangers um, as quick as possible. So I was I was happy when they made the trade and showed you know like we we could possibly get a deal done, and I'm glad it happened uh, you know, before free agency opened. Next question comes from Dan Rosen with NHL.com. Dan, go ahead. Barker, you said something interesting. You know, obviously, you know, you look at the roster, it's very skilled, very deep, lots of talent. You were probably saying the exact same thing when you went to Tampa, when you got traded there. You look at the rosters, there's a lot of skill in that top six group. You had to find the role that made it fit for your game. Is it a similar line of thinking as you come to the Rangers with, the skill that they look to have in the top six, but the, the depth and that type of third line mentality that you guys had in Tampa to, to create that again. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, I think when, when Tampa traded for me, they weren't looking for a guy who's going to come in and score 30 goals. They're looking for, um, you know, a guy they traded for the player who I was when, when I signed here, they're not, I'm not signing here to, to be a player that I'm not, um, you know, I'm I'm not a guy who's going to score 30 goals or, or put up a ton of points. I'm a guy who's going to be hard to play against, who's going to kill penalties, who's going to, you know, generate momentum for my team, who's going to stick up for his teammates, um, who's going to have leadership. Uh, you know, I I've learned what it takes to to win um, at this level, and you know, I know. The mindset you need to have to win so I, I just like to share that as much as I can um, to be a leader for you know a roster that's not not the oldest uh, in the league and yeah just to you know provide knowledge to to help these guys and you know be the be the best team that we can be